in this video, we're going to discuss about the integration of improper fraction. So, paano tayo kukuha ng integral kapag ang given natin ay improper fraction? So, paano ba natin nasasabi na ang given rational function ay improper? So, kapag yung degree ng numerator ay always greater than or equal dun sa degree ng denominator. Okay? So, for example, number 1. Let's have integral of e raised to x over e raised to x plus 1. So, dito, same yung degree ng numerator tsaka ng denominator. Okay? So, yan yung example ng improper fraction. So, ano ang gagawin natin kapag ganito yung given? So, pwede nating gamitan ng long division. Okay? So, ito yung magiging divisor. So, e raised to x plus 1. And then, ito yung dividend. Okay, so divide natin, e raised to x divided by e raised to x, that is 1, 1 times e raised to x, that is e raised to x, then 1 times 1, that is positive 1. Then subtract natin yan, so this will be e raised to x minus e raised to x, that is 0, then 0 minus 1, this will be negative 1. Okay, so wala na, magiging minus, eto remainder na lang, 1, yung dito, yung natira dito, negative 1, over yung divisor e raised to x plus 1. Okay? So, meaning, pwede nating palitan itong e raised to x over e raised to x plus 1. Hindi nang ganito. 1 minus 1 over e raised to x plus 1. Okay? So, palitan natin. By the way, nakalimutan ko palang lagyan ng dx to. Okay? So, palitan natin siya. So, this will be equal to integral of 1 minus 1 over e raised to x plus 1 dx okay so distribute natin so this will be integral of dx minus integral of dx over e raised to x plus 1 so paano to okay so kapag ganito wala tayong matandaan sa formula na pwede nating magamit yung ganitong case no so dito madali lang x lang to eh so dito may problema pa Ngayon, ang gawin natin, mag-multiply tayo dito both sides ng e raised to negative x. Okay, so dito magiging x minus integral of dx over e raised to x plus 1. Multiply tayo ng e raised to negative x over e raised to negative x. So this is still 1. Imposible namang mag-0 ang e raised to negative x. Kahit ano pa yung x na yan, hindi yan mag-0. Okay, so pwede yan. Kahit may variable x. Okay? So, this will be So, kapag nag-multiply tayo ng e raised to negative x times e, uh, over e raised to negative x So, magkakaroon sa numerator x minus. Hindi ko muna lalagyan ng plus c kasi meron pang integral na gagawin Integral of e raised to negative x dx over e raised to x times e raised to negative x. That is 1 kasi x minus x 0 e raised to 0. That is 1. Okay? Then, plus e raised to negative x. So, dito, pwede na siyang ma-integrate. Ilat natin na yung u. Let u be 1 plus e raised to negative x. Then, yung du will be derivative ng 1, 0. Derivative ng e raised to negative x. That is negative e raised to negative x. Kasi, kopya lang tapos derivative ng u. Which is negative 1. Okay? Then, dx. Okay? Then, ang gawin natin, since uh, e raised to negative x dx na yun dito, so, multiply natin both sides by negative. So, negative du equals e raised to negative x dx. Okay? So, para isasalpak na lang natin dito. Tapos, yung 1 plus e raised to negative x, eto. Okay, so this will be equal sa x minus integral of negative du over u. So since negative, pag nilabas natin yan, magiging plus na yan. x plus, so integral ng du over u, that will be ln u plus c. Balik natin yung u sa dati, so this will be x plus ln, ano yung u? 1 plus e raised to negative For number 2, 
So, let's find integral of x cubed plus 1 over x plus 2 dx. Okay? So, dito naman, yung degree ng numerator ay mas malaki sa degree ng denominator. So, 3 yung sa numerator, 1 sa denominator. So, okay, improper fraction pa rin siya. So, gamitan ulit natin ng long division. So, ito yung divisor. Tapos, x cubed plus 1. So, x cubed divided by x, that will be x squared. x squared times x, that is x cubed. x squared times 2, that is 2x squared. So, x cubed minus x cubed, 0. 0 minus 2x squared, negative 2x squared, then bring down 1. Okay? So, next, negative 2x squared divided by x. So, this will be negative 2x, negative 2x times x. That is negative 2x squared. Then, negative 2x times 2, negative 4x. So, this will be 0 to, then 0 minus negative 4x, positive 4x, then bring down 1. Next, 4x times x, this will be 4 4 times x, 4x, 4 times 2, 8, then 1 minus 8, that is negative 7. So, meron tayong remainder na negative 7 over x plus 2. So, palitan natin yung given ng ganito. So, this will be equal sa integral of x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus 7 over x plus 2 dx. Okay? So, next, distribute ulit natin. So, this will be integral of x squared dx minus 2. Nilabas ko na kagad yung 2. Integral of x dx plus 4. Integral of dx minus integral of 7 dx over x plus 2. Okay? So, dinistribute ko na yung sa integral. So, dito, magiging ano siya? x squared dx magiging x cubed over 3. So, dito naman magiging negative 2x squared, magpa-plus na naman sa exponent, over x squared, uh, over 2, then, plus 4, tapos integral ng dx, that is x. So, eto yun na lang yung gagamit tayo ng u, tsaka du. Okay, so ilet natin na yung u ay x plus 2, kasi mula na, mukha naman siyang du over u. So, du natin will be, derivative ng x1, so du natin will be dx. Okay, so minus 7, ilabas na natin yung 7, integral of, ito yung du, dx, over yung x plus 2, ayun yung u. Okay, so hindi mo na ako maglalagay ng plus c, kasi meron pang integral. So this will be x cubed over 3, or 1 third x cubed, pwede yan, 1 third x cubed, minus 2x squared over 2, makakancel na yung 2, magiging x squared na lang plus 4x minus 7 integra integral ng du over u that is ln u plus c balik natin yung u sa dati sa x plus 2 so this will be 1 third x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 7 ln x plus 2 plus c so yan is for number 3 Let's find the integral of x plus 1 over x minus 1 dx. Okay, so parehong 1 yung degree. Okay, so i-divide ulit natin x minus 1, then x plus 1. So x divided by x, that is 1. 1 times x, that is x. 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. So 1 minus negative 1, that will be 2. Okay, so minus yan ha. So, ang remainder natin, 2 over x minus 1. So, eto yung ipapalit natin dito. So, this will be integral of 1 plus 2 over x minus 1 quantity dx. So, distribute ulit natin. So, this will be integral of dx plus, okay, so labas na natin yung 2, integral of dx over x minus 1. So, ilet natin na u, x minus 1. So, du will be, dx na lang, no? Derivative ng x1, derivative ng negative 1, 0. So, dx na lang. So, magiging du over u na kagad siya, no? So, this will be integral ng dx, that is x, plus 2, integral ng du over u. 
So this will be x plus 2, integral ng d over u, that is ln u plus c. Balik natin yung u sa dati, this will be x minus 1. So this will be x plus 2 ln x minus 1 plus c.